Hi dear students, hope you are doing well. Let's start our physics class. Today, I would like to start our first chapter that is effects of electric current. This chapter is related to current and you studied about current in the last year. Let's memorize it again. Then what is electric current? It is the amount of charge that flows through a conductor in unit time. So what is this charge? As you know, in an atom, there are protons, electrons and neutrons. And protons are the positively charged particles, electrons are negatively charged particles and neutrons are neutral. That means they have no charge. The flow of these electrons or negatively charged particles makes the current. So, current is the amount of charge that flows through a conductor in unit time. Then what is this conductor? A conductor is a material that allows electricity to pass through it. Almost all metals are good conductors of electricity. For example, silver, gold, copper, aluminium, etc. are good conductors of electricity. In other words, we can write electric current equal to charge by time. Electric current is represented by the letter capital I, charge is represented by the letter Q and T is the time. That is I equal to Q by T and the unit of current is ampere. It is denoted by the letter capital A. One more unit for current that is the unit of charge or Q is coulomb and the unit of time is second. So coulomb per second or C by S is the another unit of current. The unit of current is ampere or coulomb per second. Then you are familiar with this device. This is a meter. A meter is the device used to measure electric current. This red is its positive terminal and this black is its negative terminal. There is a needle inside this emitter. If we connected it in an electrical circuit, if the current flows, the needle inside this emitter deflects and shows reading. And the symbol of emitter is like this. If this symbol is shown in an electrical circuit, it means that emitter is connected in that circuit. So current is the amount of charge that flows through a conductor in unit time. The unit of current is ampere or coulomb per second and emitter is the device used to measure electric current. Now move to our topic effects of electric current. We use many electrical devices in our daily life. They are electric bulb, electric heater, induction cooker, electric fan, etc. All these devices need electrical energy for their working. But each device has distinct functions. And these device use electrical energy and converts it into various forms of energies. Let's discuss about the energy change in some of the devices. First one is electric bulb. It is used to produce light. And what is its energy change? Electric energy converted into light energy. And next one is mixer grinder. It is used to grind food particles. That is it rotates and crush the food particles. So mechanical works takes place. So here energy conversion is electric energy converted into mechanical energy and next one is electric heater it is used to produce heat and what is the energy conversion in electric heater that is electric energy converted into heat energy then 
you are familiar with law of conservation of energy it states that energy can be neither created nor destroyed it can be converted from one form to another we can say that all these devices obeys law of conservation of energy that means how much electrical energy they consume for their working is totally changed into various forms of energies in electric bulb it converts electric energy into light energy and in mixer grinder it converts electric energy into mechanical energy and in electric heater it converts electric energy into heat energy that is how much energy they consume for their working is totally converted into various forms of energies now we are concluding our topic that is effects of electric current the useful form of energy into which a device converts electrical energy is considered as the effect of electric current of that device that means if a device converts electric energy into any useful form of energy that is the effect of electric current of that device in the case of electric bulb into which useful form of energy this electrical energy is converted light energy so lighting effect then in mixer grinder into which form of energy electrical energy is converted mechanical energy so mechanical effect and in electric heater into which form of energy this electric energy is converted heat energy so heating effect heating effect so the useful form of energy into which a device converts electrical energy is considered as effect of electric current of that device if a device converts electric energy into light energy it has lighting effect if it converts electric energy into mechanical energy it has mechanical effect and if it converts electric energy into heat energy it has heating effect then find out the effects of electric current of various devices and write it in your science diary that's all for today's class hope you clear thank you